continuing in the recommended sequence. Click on Card Profile. By definition, a card holder can use cards to access one or more doors monitored by the NLSS system. Card profiles determine the basic data structure and other key properties of the cards being used in the system. These technical aspects of the card include the bit format, the card profile type, and possibly a facility code dependent on the bit format being used. As a reminder, card profiles must be configured to serve as building blocks before moving on to badge profiles. Additionally, both card and badge profiles must be configured prior to configuring card holders. Start with creating a new card profile by clicking at. The first required field is a unique and descriptive name. For this example, we used an LSS employee profile. After creating a name for this card profile, you then need to define the bit format. To do so, click the arrow next to the drop-down list. Select the appropriate data structure for this card from the following supported options. 26-bit, using the H103010 open format. 37-bit, with a facility code, using the proprietary HID, H10304 format or 37-bit without the facility code, using the proprietary HID, H10302 format. For this example, select the 26-bit option. Moving on, depending on the bit format that you chose, you will need to enter a facility code. For existing installations, this will need to be obtained from the system owner to ensure that it matches the currently configured cards that are being used. For this example, Enter a facility code of 99. Note, it is extremely important to know the proper facility code for the cards being used. The incorrect facility code is a main cause for cards not working properly. It is strongly suggested to contact the card manufacturer to verify the facility code. Another option to verify the code is to use a reader such as an Omni key that will output the card bit format. The final detail that must be configured for this card profile is the card profile type. To enter a type for this card, select the arrow next to the drop-down list. The currently supported card types are PROX, which stands for Proximity, and I-Class. Select PROX to complete the configuration. Once all fields have been completed, click Save to continue. The newly created profile will now be available in your list to be assigned to badges, as needed. This concludes the tutorial on card profiles. Please return to the identity playlist to move on to the configuration of badge profiles.